using your time to... Well, you the argument today, you, today Minister. T- yes, through the chair. Trust her and her whore. Does that have tangible issues in the motion? We don't have a lot of time, but rather than uh, choosing to attack another party for political points, there's plenty of work to do in this. I want to also welcome um, um, Richard O'Donoghue uh, from um, Kilworth and Cork, who's in the uh, gallery today, who's done huge the business gallery, doing huge work here, and has actually stood up and was counted in, in venues where they refuse to take cash. And I want to correct you, Minister, you are, I, I don't believe you're right when you're saying that if, if where people put up a post or, or a notice saying cash is not acceptable, that they're, they're legally covered or not. The European Commission issued a document saying that that has no bearing. So we, we use Europe as cover when we want to, and we ignore them when we don't want to. So the motion here today is, is, is quite straightforward. And it's, um, the, the non-use of cash is discriminatory, and it's totally discriminatory against um, uh, it, people with intellectual disabilities, uh, elderly people, indeed, the Ogre, uh, Freshton, and the poorest in society. And indeed, our newest arrivals are refugees. <laughs> I mean, they can't open a bank account or anything else. So, we're all lovely platitudes talking about all these inclusive acts we do, and we allow our banks. There's some kind of an amnesia in government and the previous government, and the one I was in too, uh, and when we had the bank crash. An amnesia, some kind of anesthe- anesthe- aesthetics we get when dealing with banks. We stand back and honour them. The bank managers, yes, in the past they had great respect in the community, and rightly so. But people knew the banks, managers, and they knew the people, and they trust, and that was there, and they knew who to help out and who to give, who trust to give loans and everything else. All that connectivity is gone. You can't find a bank manager. You can't find a teller in a bank now. And I support the staff always in the banks that are there under duress, and they get the brunt of it when you go in and meet machine after machine after machine after machine, like robots. They don't want the customers. We saw what AIB did. The, out, the arrogance of them to do what they did last year, uh, in spite of the fact that we're every man, woman, and child, and children unborn, and will be born for our grandchildren to pay back the horrible mess that they left us in, and the bailout they got here, the blank check that they got from us, and this is the tanks. Because your governments are an up and it proves it here today, and no respect yourself one way or not, for one minute or the previous minister of Alistair Smith. Carwell and talk to Arrogance. Carwell me Hall McCraw. Car- I talk to me Hall McCraw. I- 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 I talk to uh, Pascal Dunho. Where are they? If you're so serious about this, and thank to every group that spoke here, supported their motion, and Labour missed the slot and did, did national approach means that they're supporting it also. So, unanimously in the House supporting this motion, you're supporting the motion, but you don't want to do the motion always. When you, want to, when you don't want to have palatable vote down something, you'll take it and you'll fold it into a folder and you'll file it away and you'll put more folders on top of it and you'll put more on top of it and it'll be in the, in the, in the tenure filed in. I want from you today dates timelines for legislation. We're talking, you talk about the, the, the second half of, of, 20, of 23, and maybe we'll get something in 24. We can't wait that long, because the whole thing has been harvested up, and uh, people's cash uh, reserves and peaceful patience and resilience, and above all, our support for the people that you are elected, and I'm elected, and we're all elected, to represent our people. Not to be driving them uh, literally um, off the face of a cliff, because many people, as I said, and not all elderly. I, 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 I know lots of elderly people are, more, are way more proficient on electronic uh, in elect, uh, communication than I am. But as I named the people, the homeless, uh, the, the vulnerable, and you see in hospitals now, no more cash accepted here after the 1st of January. You can't get your uh, cadunas um, uh, to drive on the road. And the LS centre. So it's happening. So relentless push, 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 push. And we know that up to 3.5% is taken from every time you, that, that the small business uses a, uses a cash card, or somebody, a customer uses a cash card, three point, up to 3.5% is that taken out of their business. Goodness knows it's hard enough to keep the doors open in the business at the moment with the, with the ESB and with the oil companies, which are won't 
won't defend either. I don't know what's got into the political system in this country when we celebrate a hundred years of the death of the likes of Liam Lynch and Michael Collins and the Valley City uh, Motors and everything else and we go around paying homage to what they did and we allowed our people to be downtrodden and to be crucified with, with, with big corporations. And the Liberal Corporation is big and beautiful. And we saw last week the bill to make have corporate sections in the credit unions. We need to support our people. They, they under the Constitution, the Burnock and the Hen, that is our solemn duty here, to serve the people who elect us. But we seem to have we need less than that, and we need tutorials put on here again to remind government of what the responsibilities are. Because they love trotting out to Europe. They're trotting all over the world now, not trotting, but flying for Paddy's Day. It's the biggest, I'd say, uh, exodus since the famine. God, God help me if I say that perilous situation to make the comparison, but my God, Minister Ryan can't keep up with the places he's going. He, uh, someone said yesterday he's hiring an advisor to advise an advisor. He'd need him to be ahead of him, to be behind him, to be with him. And all want the one road, the Bohor Deerock. And no carbon tax. And we are here, little minions, pay up and shut up. So, Minister, the GAA, Common Liu Class Gale, played a huge part in our, and it was founded in my own, uh, one of our own hometowns in Tipperdon, Tolazela, so many years ago. And the ideas that those men had. And now we have, I can't believe that one of the first big organisations, our national organisations, to say, to go cashless. It is shameful of them. And I have written to them a number of times, the chief executive of the Ulster Hoare and indeed the county chairman, but did they even get an acknowledgement? No. They've gone so big now and so embedded with the government and so uh, nodding and do and we want that uh, they, they want to think they can tweet their loyal supporters. And, all, and any other clubs and organisations are thinking they're going the same way and others are. I think it's shameful. I think it's shameful. I have a couple of two in particular, Sagar Parosh, they're retired, they're assistant pastors now, they're great work. Excellent holders on the field, I wouldn't like to be, have been against them even playing holding because they pulled on the ground and pulled on the ball and they were great holders. Gave great service to their clubs, their county, and loves to go to matches. They've been in a match for 18 months since this carry on came in because they don't have anybody, they live alone, you know, they don't have uh, uh, families and they don't have people to help them get under embarrassments as a boy and else you can go, someone else buy a ticket for you. Do you ever see the bit of it? I remember years ago we were going to dance for a tenor, we might have the tenor, we might have eight bob, we might say to someone, pass any chance of, of, of a half a crown to make up the tenor. And you'd be embarrassed, but now for a, a grown man, pensioner, in the late 80s maybe, late 70s, to so ask someone else to buy them a ticket. The cash in Sepulchre. I was in Stormont the weekend, I was in Belfast the weekend, and they have done things to protect their cash up there. So have Denmark. But why are we to be laggards and everything else that's good for our people here? You're talking about legislation that you might introduce. We haven't seen the heads of it. We haven't seen any draft guidelines. We haven't seen any discussion uh, for committees to put their teeth into. So why the delay? Are we complicit in the removal of cash, your government? I think you are, by delaying and subvertage and everything else, and the fatigue you suffer. I think you are. I can't come to any other conclusion. Okay, we'll accept the rural independence motion, a great motion, and we'll speak in favour, and we'll have a kick at Sinn Féin about cash and political scores in the middle of it, and, and, and they don't even not use all your they know me to, to, to answer the, the question and deal with the very salient important points that are in here. So, Minister, uh, like, the, as we know, the financial, um, the, the, the visa cashless challenge that, that was announced in 2017 by the visa cards, and then we had another one with the, uh, the, 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 the cashless journey as well, MasterCard. So we're adoring to these now, visas and MasterCard and everything else. And it saddens me. I'm not antiquated or backward, or backward looking, and I use cards as well. But I see it in Dini Yoga, and they're being indoctrinated into card, 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 card. Whether it's for a little chungum, whether it's for a bar of chocolate, whether it's for a cocktail or, or mineral or a cup of coffee or anything else. And the control element that's in all that is my big fear because when they go to get a mortgage and when they go to get any kind of loan to the bank, if they can find a bank that's open, and if they can find a, ma a manager to talk to because they can't, it's like a, in, in, in quizzes now, in, in question times now, they'll have a question, where's the bank in Clonmel? Can someone say, where's the bank in cash to get up in here? Because they intend abandoning the people totally. They're well underway and they don't care about governments because governments are complicit. Because he's proving today that the Minister for Finance, Michael McGrath, on the Corralum Reeve, and his absence, and indeed the Minister for Public Expenditure, 
I said, no respect you wouldn't even come into the debate this motion. But everybody in this chamber, every group, thought it was important. So that's some signal to the banks. The signal is a nod and a wink and away you go, lads, and charge what you like. Interest rates are going up again, as we know, this, 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 this week or tomorrow after. And we see this pressure. We see the devastation they left after people bringing them through the courts and bringing them through evictions and everything else. So, and here we are on the merry way here to, to, to cash the society. While I'll be alive, the couple, I have nine grandchildren, thank God, and one uh, ever a day on the way, the corner of the day. And I'd love to give them a few bob cash. And every grandparents and every friend, child, the first community, or whatever else, the person didn't want to give someone a tip whether it's the lorry driver doing delivery or whether it's someone bringing home the turf when you were left bringing home the turf, you got a, you got a large bottle and you got a fiver of a tip and everybody was happy and the turf was home and ready for the winter so I, I beg your indulgence, uh, got here, look, I want to see action. I want to see a, a prescriptive uh, timeline of when you're going to introduce heads of the bill, Thank you. when you're going to introduce it uh, to pre the bill, when you're going to introduce it to pre legislative scrutiny, and when will we do it this floor? And it can't be up never, never. We Thank might you, do it in 2023, and maybe go on to 24. I know you'll be out of government then. It'll be over to someone else to mind all the cash they have, as you said. So Thank I commend this motion. And it's a pity that um, you wouldn't have the guts to stand up and oppose it rather than have it lying down. And Getting dust in some shelf. That can't happen. Thank you.